Hi guys, I need this is a part four of the tutorial on how to um, to make a network topology in the Cisco Packet Tracer, and it's a slightly huge, uh, bigger network. As you can see, we have many computers. Um, actually, it is twelve computer. So I will explain. I will have an uh, in this video. I will going to assign an IP address for all all the IP for um the needed IP address so um, last time I made uh, I labeled and the, the different IP address on this uh, ports and of on this PC in this port so I will going to explain you how did I uh, basically did that how to uh, assign a, an IP address a correct IP address for uh, these different ports and these computers so as you can see right here I have the serial one the serial one I mean I have the serial zero slash one slash one and I will have to assign an IP address for that so here is the IP address that I already labeled so this is one will be assigned so it depends on the network address so as you can see the network address for these connections right here the, for this connection is um, this I this network address so that is 192.168.6.0 so you can have um, 192.168.6.1 or you can have 6.5 any uh, below 255 below 255 like 254 21 you can have uh, an IP address for this uh, for this port so as you can see I have 6.1 as you can see I have 6.2 so as you can see that is the network address so I did the same thing in this network right here so this port is I assigned five one six eight one nine two that one six eight that five that one because the IP address is one nine two that one six eight that five. So as you can see that five that five and that is that five. And I'm sure I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. And in this network right here, it's it is slightly different for the router this this network because it's the connection so as you can see I have 4.1 I have labeled 4.1 and in, in this port this fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 port um, how did I do that now I did that by this so as you can see I have a network address um, 4.0 and that is 4.1 you can have 4.10 you can have 4.50 you can have 4.60 just 4 that below 255 it will work but make sure to have your own but I recommend you to have 4.1 4.2 4.3 and 4.4 as you can see right here 4.2 4.3 4.4 for that one for the two for the three for the four and I did the same thing in this thing right here I did the same thing so I think that's it for the explanation and in this video I will assign finally I will assign an IP address on these computers and all of this some um, ports so the be the the good thing that we did last time is we have already labeled an IP address for these computers and for these ports so now we can just copy and pasting and that is the good thing about labeling an IP address for these port uh, for an IP address for these ports and for this computer so we can have a copy and pasting so just copy that by control C press control C on your keyboard and to paste click the computer and click desktop and IP configuration to assign an IP address so 
like that and just and the default gateway is like I said before that this is the default gateway and use that as a default gateway so just copy that and close do the same thing in the second computer so it's 4.1.3 so as you can see 1.3 so the, that's a good thing about and the, um, the, the default gateway is for this computer this three computer is this you must use this your as your default gateway so close that and do the same thing on this PC so that's just one dot two and the default gateway so as you can see it's the same so I will not explain to you but that is just a brief explanation so I will just make it faster because I don't want my videos too long so make sure to copy the default gateway because this is your um, because this is your default gateway for these computers right here so that is your default gateway so just copy that and select this PC and this desktop copy and copy that oh no we selected this so we have cap we have to copy this one copy this and the two the subnet mask will generally appear automatically automatically appear so in this one do the same thing in this computer copy that and desktop IP configuration paste and the default gateway is here so copy that and so do the same thing of the rest of this computer I will just you know do the uh, the default gateway later I will just put an default gateway oh make sure to copy that one make sure to have a unique IP address don't use an IP address that is already being used with an, uh, another port or PC so use this as your default gateway your default gateway for this computer so copy that thing right there and you know paste that on a default gateway of this computer IP configuration so do the same thing in here so copy so that's the good thing about labeling an IP address on the PC and the ports all you have to do is copy and pasting when you're assigning an IP address so you don't have to type anything
so use this as your default gateway for these computers right here so copy that IP address so click default gateway on IP configuration and paste that all in this all of this computer paste that in this computer so IP configuration IP configuration and we have already um, assigned an IP address for these computers this computer this computer and this computer now we don't we did not already assign an IP address on this port this port and this port this this IP address this IP address this IP address so as you can see we have one two three four five six seven eight nine we have to assign nine so just copy and as you can see you have the serial one slash one so you have to paste that on the serial sl one slash one go in a config tab and serial one slash zero one slash one paste and turn the port status on and this IP copy this one control C press control C and as you can see you have serial zero slash one slash zero so you have to select serial so serial zero slash one slash zero so select that and paste that in here oh what happened um i i guess the guys i have to continue this tutorial so i have to cut this off i will separate i will be continuing this one to label uh, i mean to assign an ip address for all the ports so i will just continue it guys because i don't have i have 12 minutes i i think it's almost 13 minutes of this tutorial so I have a problem in, in YouTube guys that I can't upload uh, 50 above 15 minutes because I have a copyright issues and uh, community guidelines issues so um, I will continue this tutorial so go on the part 5 of uh, this tutorial which is assigning an IP address for all the ports so i guess that's all for this video and make sure to continue this tutorial by clicking the link in the description below you can have click the link i will leave a link for all the parts and also i will leave a link for the playlist of this tutorial to have all the of the parts so see you on my next video